Hey folks, Dr. Mike here, Jared Feather here. We're here with Armand Bagdasarov. You may know him as Cheesy Fit on Instagram. These kids with their Insta handles, you know what I'm saying? So Armand, because he's from the great nation of Georgia, yes, it is actually a country in the Soviet area of the Middle East. It is known for specifically two things, actually three, incredible cooking, high level wrestling and super high level weightlifting. They actually have statistically the best wrestlers on the face of the earth. So naturally, Armand is here to not wrestle, but get tortured by Jared and I in a super insane back, shoulders and biceps workout garage series. So if you're still COVIDed out, check out this video. Hopefully by the end, at least we can use Armand's dying body to illustrate how proper garage training should be. Jared, any last words for your friend? Sorry, man. I get two questions a lot. First one is, how do I become successful like you, Dr. Mike? Driving a Jared Feathers Hyundai Sonata, not even have a car of your own? VIP shit, folks, that's for another episode. I gotta get in my car. The re... <laughs> Keep rolling. <laughs> The real question they ask me is, how many sets of bent rows are we gonna do for this workout? And what's the rep range? Well, rep range is roughly 10 to 15 reps and we'll adjust the load and number of reps to stay hopefully in that range, at least in the first couple of sets. It's okay if we get some rep drop off into the five to 10 after. As far as set numbers, this is a pretty big workout. Armand is currently gonna be doing his last week of training overreaching. So we're looking at three to five sets here, plenty of work. And remember, we have tons of other exercises ahead. We're gonna do a great job, but save a little bit something for later. Excellent. Big breath in and pull. Four. Five. Excellent. Touch every time. Good. Good, rest for a second. Last one. Good technique. That's it. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so he did two top sets with uh, 185. We wanted to keep him within the 10 to 15 rep range. Uh, falling out of that rep range a bit, so we're going to go ahead and do a down set with you know minus 10% on the, on the bar. So uh, down to 165, he should get back up to the 10 to 15 rep range. Шесть, молодец, жестко. Семь. Еще один раз. Конкретно давай. Вот еще один. Ну. Вот так. Молодец. Все. Good shit. Ну что, тебе нравится быть шпионом для Грузии, да? Yeah. Классно. Все знают, что РП это, это просто русский шпион. Ну, русский это шпион, сто процентов. О, hey, Америка. Америка. Next exercise, another three sets. What we're going to do is do an interesting superset with bent rows. It's not normally something you do, although it's a cool thing to do in a regular gym, but we have different machines in a regular gym to target this. This is something you can really do to boost the variation when you're training at home in a garage and you only have a barbell. Here it is. We're gonna do a full set of rows to chest, which means it touches right around the nipple line. <laughs> All right, we got that out of the way touch right around the nipple line, and then when you go really close to failure, you can't do any more with that, you switch same set to bent rows to the tummy, which are mechanically more advantageous, thus easier, or you can continue to get more reps with the same weight. Thus, we get a chance to reach failure or close twice in the same set, making it a super set. Really awesome movement. Let's get right into it. Armand's gonna show us how it works. You got this. Last one, big chest. And rest for a second. Good. All right, realign and begin. Rows to tummy. Try it over back. Beautiful. Oh. One. Two. Control the descent. Three. Last one. One more, one more, one more. You know I was playing with you. Big chest. Boom, another one. Armand, davai. Stay upright. Stay upright, one more. Oh yeah, more, 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 more. Stay upright, let's go. Big chest. Oh, Ooh. that was dog shit, that's it, good enough. Very good Boom. job, very good job. <laughs> the crowd doesn't like you. Stuff, 
Alrighty folks, so typically with the back, the erector complex, the rhomboids, the middle and upper traps, uh, lower traps included, they typically have a maximum recover volume that's a little bit lower than the other muscles because they strain so hard to produce such great forces in a bunch of different movements. So a lot of times when you do multiple sets of bent rows, those muscles are pretty cooked, but the lats can still use more work. Now, typically in a setting where we have lat pull downs and pull ups and stuff like that, we can do that. And we could also do a little bit of a more isolation exercise for the lats, the dumbbell lat pullover. Luckily, we have all kind of a decline setup here with the driveway. It gets us a really big stretch at the bottom. Good finishing movement at the top. Let's get into it. Big chest at the bottom. Up. Excellent, keep it rocking. More, you got at least three more. Big open control, touch, up, good. Should you go to failure on pullovers, a dumbbell pullover, a machine pullover, it's super easy. With dumbbell pullovers, failure almost always happens at the extreme end of the range of motion, which isn't really dangerous. You would just have to let go of the dumbbell. It falls, it hits the ground, it rolls away. Who knows what's happening? So it's okay on this movement specifically to stop like one rep shy of failure when you know like, okay, ooh, on the next rep, I may or may not have it. Maybe, I probably will, but I don't want to chance it. Stop there. And it's okay because training that close to failure is basically as good as training to failure. And if you really want more stimulus, just do an extra set. Let's modify it real quick. You're gonna squeeze into my hand. Squeeze, squeeze down and then go. Squeeze, squeeze. Oh, yeah. Good, Good stuff. Try to push it all the way through. Push all the way through. Push, 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 push. And down. Last one. Go, 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 go. All the way up. Go, 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 go. That's it. Rack. Good stuff, man. Woo. So we're going to be doing a superset of lateral raises to upright rows with dumbbells. Great, great, great exercise. One of my favorites. The lateral raises we're going to do with super range of motion style, which means all the way up. Okay, and we'll show you guys in a sec what we mean by that when Armand does it. Is this a safe exercise for almost everyone it is? If you have a shoulder joint that doesn't have a ton of flexibility, if you have previous shoulder problems, either don't do this exercise or really ease into it. And remember the weight you're gonna be able to lift here because the extreme range of motion is much lighter. But you'll notice that if it's an exercise you can string together a couple of times and it feels great, it is going to get you an unreal pump, metabolite burn and feel of tension in the side delts, even a bit in the rear delts, a tiny bit in the front delts. It's an awesome all around shoulder builder. Give it a shot, no dogma, no religion, you don't have to do it this way. It's totally fine to do it the other way where you just go up to here or something like that. Give it a shot, ease in, super lightweight. If it feels off, don't do it. But if you like it, keep giving it a shot. Very good. There you go. Way to control. One more. Armand, do what it takes. Go. 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 Go, yes. Control. Slow. Control, and then once you get to the bottom, you're going to the upright rows. Now. Seven. Now. Go. One. Two. Bottom of the hangout high. spot. Up. Three. Just lead with the elbows. Let's go. Up. Four. More. Right here. Right here. Five. Six. Way to hold it up there. Up. Seven. Last one. Up. Slow. Good. Oh, very good. So Armand is actually a pretty good programmer as well himself. Uh, we've actually interacted quite a bit. He showed me some of his programs. He's doing what most people would consider like push-pull leg split style of training. Uh, really, he's just programming the muscles at whatever frequency they've recovered from the next session uh, so he can hit them again. So with lateral delts and biceps, we're tacking them on at the end of his pull sessions. I believe he puts them at the end of his push sessions too, hits them three to four times a week because that's when they recover. So we're doing three sets of lateral raises, which you saw uh, this intensity technique, lateral raise to upright row. And now we're gonna do three sets of curls. 
because um, I believe he has them programmed today and like again, two other, three other times a week. All right, All right. hit it out. Dumbbell twist curls outside of the dumbbell. Yep, good, thumb flush against. Perfect, twist hard at the top. <clears throat> again, they don't have to go into neutral at the bottom. Uh, I think some people just do that because of elbow injuries. If you can stretch, if you can stretch deep here, that's perfect. Hit it. There you go. Rep one. Perfect. Twist hard at the top. When you curl forward, you're trying to fight your elbows in towards each other. Control. Good technique only. Perfect. Every rep should look like that. Like yeah, Armand, why don't you bitch out and rest a bunch at the bottom? Let's Up. go, 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 go. That was sarcasm, motherfucker. Excellent. More. Don't you cheat yourself. Oh. Come on. Up. Let's go. More. Go. No breaks. No pauses. Push, go. Push. Now. Twist, twist, twist. Good. There Please. it is. Another one. At least another one. Shoulders back, shoulders back, shoulders back. Curl. Push, twist, twist, twist. Elbows, elbows. One more. <laughs> go, 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 go. What are you doing? What are you doing? Curl. Push. Yes. Push. Elbows in, elbows yes. in, elbows in, elbows in. Yes. There it is. And slow. That's it. Good stuff. <laughs> Disappointed. All right, get on in here while you're breathing heavy. We'll outro the video. Folks. That's all we got. Our mom was a good sport, did a great job. If you're stuck in a garage and you need an awesome workout, you can do this one. Remember, this is a peak week workout. So if you wanna start a progression, make sure you're a couple reps shy of failure, a few sets uh, less than he did, and then slowly work up by adding reps, adding load, adding a few sets here and there over time. After four to six weeks or so, you're gonna be at that peak. Deload, repeat. Thank you so much. Jared, any final words of wisdom? Oh my God, look, it's Doug Ho Park. <laughs> uh, people ask me, what Russia like compared to America? Easy answer, better in every way. Food better in Russia, car better in Russia. Our leader, look, Donald Trump, great man, of course. Putin, the best, okay? Uh, what else, cigarette? Better in Russia, thicker, wider, bigger, put in mouth, smoke a lot, love it, yeah, baby, yeah.